Good morning. As the Holy Spirit continually directs us, our moments of inspiration will pick up from Pastor's Corner. A directive, an instruction, a charge, a mandate, a decree. All of this is commandments. So today's moments of inspiration to help lead, guide, and direct us is commandments. Satan is ever seeking to inject that poison into the hearts, into our hearts, to distrust God's goodness, especially in connection with his commandments. Faith as Paul saw it was a living, flaming thing leading to surrender and obedience to the commandments of Christ. Those who disobey the commandments of God do so foolishly for themselves. Mm -hmm. Our obedience must be universal to all God's commandments because he commands it. Empty relationships are nothing. If we profess ourselves to be God's servants and do not honor him by our obedience, we, labeled, we are labeled with an empty title. Mm. Spiritual treasure is focused on obedience to God and walking in the path of his commandments. Four of the Ten Commandments deal with our relationships with God, while the other six deal with relationships with people. But all ten are about relationships. If God wanted us to live in a permissive society, he would have given us the ten suggestions and not the ten commandments. Wow. <laughs> and to take with us this week, when we obey the greatest commandment and make God the subject of our love, we can be assured of having a purpose that transcends anything we could imagine or any strength we could achieve. Amen. Yes. Following God's commandments will lead you among a beautiful path of wisdom, assuring you of his peace, protection, and provision. Circumstances often prove painful, but even when situations seem overwhelming, believers can trust that our sovereign Lord knows all, is in control, and lovingly works everything out for his children. Amen. We can rest confidently knowing that the unchanging God of all creation will take care of us. Amen. Loving our neighbor is a biblical mandate and the foundation of the golden rule. But the phrase is not complete without the last two words. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Amen. Found in Mark 12:31. If we are to be vessels used for the pouring out of the Father's love on others, we must always be unselfish in our concern for them. Regardless of how we act or feel, our Father loves us perfectly. The proof is in John 3.16, which says God loved mankind so much that he gave his son to die for our sin. And he did it while all human beings were still his enemies. No one is worthy of the sacrifice Christ made. And yet the Father's perspective is that we are worth it. If he considers each of us that valuable, then we ought to look at others the same way. Experiencing God's love can inspire us to love our neighbors. This includes everyone in the sphere of our influence, although some may be easier to love than others. 
Throughout the Gospels, Jesus repeated the command to his disciples, probably because he knew how often his followers, both then and now, would run into people who were difficult to love. Amen. <laughs> Although we encounter people who seem unlovable, the commandment still stands. We are to love them as ourselves. This is a powerful evangelism tool. Few can resist the attraction of a loving friend acting on behalf of the perfectly loving friend. Who among your neighbors needs to be loved today? The true expression of Christian character is not in good doing but in God-likeness. If the Spirit of God has transformed within you, you will exhibit divine characteristics in your life, not just good human characteristics. God's love is in us expresses itself in God's life, Amen. not in human life trying to be godly. The secret of a Christian's life is that supernatural becomes natural yeah. in him as a result of the grace of God. And the experience of this becomes evident in the practical everyday details of life, not in times of intimate fellowship with God. And when we come in contact with things that create confusion, and a flurry of activity. We find in our own amazement that we have the power to stay wonderfully poised even in the center of it all. Amen. Behind every restriction or commandment the Lord gives is his loving care for his followers. Yeah. He knows the tormenting consequences of sin and wants to deter us from rebellious choices that will wreck our lives. In refusing this, and refusing his will, we're choosing pain and trouble. Amen. Obedience to God's commandments will lead to a life full of his spirit. Amen? Amen. We thank the Lord for his word thus far. And now we'll be blessed with one more musical selection, and then we will have a word from our pastor. Pray that all hearts and minds are open to receive what thus saith the Lord this morning. 